All right, so this is uh, Michael Gallo, and I probably pronounced your last name wrong, but this is Michael Gallo's work, and it's his kind of first digital painting. And so the uh, the first and foremost thing, he's got reference posted on, on the Level Up forum, and the first and foremost thing that I see with his reference problem is simply that he is... Um, he needs to pay attention to angles. Like, if you look at his, um, and I don't have any, re I don't know who the reference is, so I'm not going to give credit. He's got the link in, in Facebook. So, so, but the first and foremost thing that you want to do is you want to start measuring your angles. Um, and, and by doing that, it's just a matter of paying attention to, you know, things like this and, and uh, cutting down the, the aspect of what, you know the visual references so that's the first and foremost thing and um, the second thing is I, I see a major problem the major problem that I do see is that his head on the reference needs to be up a little bit more this needs to be trimmed down a little bit more so the head needs to come up here and then um, that's going to push the neck back and then this is going to start with the shoulder watch those angles again and that is the biggest the biggest issue I see with this proportion um, as far as what I'm looking at with the the, uh, the actual proportion of the drawing and stuff. The big thing I see is his brush usage um, and what I mean by his brush usage is if I zoom up in here and you can kind of see it's it's very solid uh, individual colors he's not actually painting he's more or less drawing and then scribbling the uh, um, the shape in there. So the the problem with that is in his settings and I think if he goes into your settings and I'm just using a, a basic old everyday chalk brush 36 pixels but I go in my transfer with my pressure settings and you're going to be able to paint um, much more gradients. So an example would be if I'm painting over this I'm just going to get a bigger brush and the example would be if I paint over this, I can go from light to dark and darker and darker and darker. So you see I can get a lot more pen pressure going on with just paying attention to that. So what that means is lay down blocks of color instead of trying to scribble in a whole bun bunch of color. So he, what he's doing is basically he's picking a color and he's going like this and actually it's it's even worse than that because it's, his brush is just tiny comparatively so he's doing that and that's not what you should be doing instead what you should be doing is um, going in here and and starting to paint the the brush around to get that that flowing more of that form going on so like from here to here, you know, if he just does a little bit more paint like this, he's going to get a smoother blend, and it's going to be a lot better as far as that goes. Um, and that's, I think, the biggest issue he has. Now, when you come into areas um, like this where, where you've got the form wrinkle, um, what you want to do is actually you can draw that line, and then give it a little bit bigger tone and then start pulling in some of that shading and that shading and I'm just hitting alt to go back and forth that shading is actually creating more form um, so I think that's the the big issue is just building up that form a little bit better um, don't use like I'm using hundred percent because I'm I, I've train myself not to really worry about going back and, and worrying about the opacity. I'm just using a very light touch to to kind of push that color back and forth and it's a lot of color picking, a lot of just kind of flowing like that, but that's how you get that that shape and that form. You know, just picking the colors and kind of going from there. Um, so that that's what I would say right off the bat is get you got the idea with getting your solid colors in there but essentially you want to blend those colors in so that you don't see the line work and I think that's your biggest issue I mean your your proportions are a little bit off not not saying they're perfect but by simply saying oh hey check this you know getting that, that
that form in there. And I'm not saying that's way too bright. Um, you know, getting some of that form in there, watch those subtle colors. Like, like the, um, in this particular image, the, uh, image is, uh, got a little highlight there. So don't feel like you need to, to kind of follow that. Um, you know, get that rim lighting going on and that's basically what that is. But you want to blend your colors a little bit more. And instead of, instead of drawing paint, you know, use a bigger brush. Um, in this particular one, you know, like just by just by playing with these colors here a little bit more, I'm gonna grab some of that more dark. You're you're seeing the form start to take effect now, and those are the things that you really want to pay attention to. Um, and I, like I said, it's it's not your painting because you're not painting, you're drawing. Get get a bigger brush, wipe down a lot of your bigger colors, and then go from there. All right. I hope that helps.